Hello, beta testers. I guess Gotham Knights developers needed a Batmobile wheel on their face to admit to 30 FPS. And just like Avengers would dodge all of their launch bug questions that they clearly never intended to fix, Gotham Knights developers dodged those frame rate questions like they were Neo in the Matrix. But not one of the old Matrix movies, one of the new post-transition only one Wachowski sister, not brother anymore, Matrix movies. You like this? You want this? Why don't you pay more for this one even though it's inferior, you know? What an interesting trend we're witnessing these days, releasing something objectively worse a decade later and expecting people to pay more for it because dumbass developers are going to jump up talking about, ah, oh, you know, inflation. <laughs> You're an idiot. And I don't care how many shills and, you know, guy making a dick sucking face in his thumbnail you can get to defend this garbage. It's trash. Hey, Gotham Knights defenders, tell them fuck 60 FPS and 30 FPS. Y'all should settle for a frame a minute. You know, FPS, nah, 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 FPM, that's how we get down. I guess everything's a dub when you're willfully ignorant enough to bask in your stupid. But here's the thing. I know some people are too stupid to understand why withholding information up to six days before launch that would significantly alter players' decisions to spend is bad. And the best course of action is typically to avoid eye contact with these underdeveloped children. But... When developers can't help but coat their cheeks and jizz, defending on their knees like the good bitch they are, these blatantly anti-consumer practices, I can't help but wonder, were you ever really human? Have you ever had to earn anything? Or have you just been given everything in your life? The communication, or lack thereof, from Warner Brothers Montreal goes well beyond absolutely unacceptable. Even in the best case scenario where people still want to play your living La Vida Loca cringe, they should have been made well aware, much further out, that the cheaper version on PC is objectively better and runs much better on, may I remind everybody, this one year delayed game that was initially developed with last gen, you know, like this is a PS4 game. And then they just canceled those versions, you know what I'm talking about? Hopefully the shills can work overtime to hype up this unoptimized mess to normies because they're good little puppets with hands shoved right up there. But take it from a mouthpiece of the people who matter, the people that you need to sell to, <laughs> you'll pay for it one way or another, one way or a thousand. Can't wait for you to play victim because online commenters are so mean. You're the deceiver. You withheld this information. You held out your hand for money, but were deliberately silent about something you knew would alter whether or not people chose to spend. Because you're dishonest. It's a bunch of dishonest people. And if somebody was a woman and a man treated them like this, it'd be the end of the world because you're hypocrites. Dishonest hypocrites. Dishonest hypocrites. Dishonest hypocrites. Ooh, got the night sucks, my balls, got the night sucks, got the night sucks, my balls, bro. Got the night sucks, my balls, got the night sucks, got the night sucks, my balls, bro. Got the night sucks, my balls, got the night sucks, got the night sucks, my balls, bro. Got the night sucks, my balls, got the night sucks, got the night sucks, my balls. I'm a man who gives credit where credit is due, and never would I think that the bar would fall so low that Avengers can claim anything. 60 FPS in that video game, at least they told people before the game came out that Spider-Man would only be on PlayStation. Imagine if it ended up coming out six days before release and your arm twisted had you begrudgingly admitting to, okay, one version is gonna have something that the other versions don't. And weirdly, that version costs less than the other versions. Well, we, we, we just didn't tell you. Yeah, it, that's how low the bar is before any of you come slurping up my fucking beanstalk with some stupid shit that makes you look foolish and then claiming I'm insulting you and bitch, you the one with medium in your fucking bio, bro. Can you convene with some spirits to assemble the brain cells necessary to maybe have a little bit of sense than to what would you defend? I don't touch this caliber stupid i am i'm an observer but best believe i'm gonna get everybody that i know to document this bullshit 
Here's Yong Ye saying it in case black isn't diverse enough for you. It might affect people's purchase decision. It might affect which version of the game they might want to get or whether they're getting this game at all only a week before launch and only sharing this information via Discord in a sort of very low-key way. Remember when yet another one of Crystal Dynamics' game-breaking patches hit Marvel's Avengers and it exposed people's IP addresses by displaying them on screen? They didn't want to say anything about that. That might affect sales. So they kept it hush hush, a string of texts they tweeted. So Kyel had to get a journalist's attention in his very filthy way. And this game needs you to be Kyel's. This cannot become a norm in the industry. Screenshot this shit. These dumb takes that these fools make and hastily delete after they're called out for the ignorant, incompetent, and absolutely deceptive behaviors that they hope that just because some of these shows are on their knees coating the rims of their mouth and pubic hair that you're going to be just like that i want you to be more please comment and tell me whether you're excited to at the very least watch yet another gaming at dumpster fire to those of you who are sending me receipts of your pre-order cancellation or letting me know that you're going to be sailing the high seas since again on pc is the better um <laughs> I mean, what do you say with this terrible... It, it, why does it have to be a theme of the developers being terrible? They could have tried their corny-ass little best and we'd move the hell on, but they had to They had to deliberately deceive. And, you know, unless their arm was... You know, I've been through it a million times, I'm not going to keep saying it, but why should I be anything but vicious? And why would you defend? Boy. Just a bitch-ass nigga like... <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. Yeah, I should like I should edit out every swear in the video so that the Catholic priests that watch my uh, my videos in between the kid diddling and uh, and you know DC game defending, um, <laughs> actually playing a game in the background. This is bad. I should play I should play a game more often and just uh, talk over the. You can't even see the gameplay. I do love you, and I hope to see more of you. That that sounds weird. You know, in the in the in the shower. You hear me? Dia. Oh, you're talking to me? No, I just wanted you to appreciate my jokes. Cause I'm so funny. <laughs> I wouldn't say what I said was a joke. It was just a, I guess, recognition of how, how I was phrasing something. Yeah. Is this video over? Or are we at the eight? Uh, excellent. So, guys, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> you guys take it easy. I um, you know, again, uh, buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride, and uh, I hope that you'll join me for. It. If not, you'll see some very sweet compilations. <laughs> drip drip drip. Pee on you, it's on you. You'll never feel quite the same when you get a whiff of my Hershey stains. I'm gonna hit you with the bat poop. Yeah. Oh, damn. Batman wins again, baby. It's as simple as that. And then I hit him with that. Kia! Wait, I pressed on the wrong button. Kia! <laughs> <laughs>